Of course, the critical thing is we're water scarce in New Mexico, and we also are energy rich. We're actually an energy exporter. So we have the opportunity, because water needs energy, energy needs water, we actually need a statewide water budget that doesn't exist right now, and we will develop that over the next five years. So we have a, including the headwater watersheds coming into New Mexico, but we actually have a layer and a map that shows our different components of our state water budget. Uh, so I'm part of uh, two components, uh, the first being the osmotic power development. Um, and so the idea there is that you can take these very, um, very salty waters that, that are um, come up with uh, typically in oil and gas production and <clears throat> set up a, a gradient where uh, the salty water, uh, the fresh water wants to diffuse into the salty water. And basically by having those two uh, salinity uh, concentrations separated by a membrane, you can set up a situation where you have where you generate very high pressure as this as the uh, water uh, tries to diffuse through the membrane that pressure gradient would be used to turn for example a turbine uh, to generate electricity I am part of the energy part of the project so what we are trying to do is to grow algae uh, from wastewater and uh, treat the wastewater on one hand and at the same time produce energy so right now wastewater treatment takes a lot of energy it consumes a lot of energy, it produces a lot of bad emissions uh, like carbon dioxide, greenhouse gases. The project that we are working on would produce energy instead of consuming energy. Uh, right now I'm working on two types of solar cells. One is uh, polymer solar cell. Uh, so the active material is polymer that absorbs sunlight, then created uh, electron hole pairs. And then we work on the, uh, we put a buffer layer to uh, separate electron and the hole to improve the efficiency. We're, we're trying to actually make a simplified version of how these things interact so that we can take the science and help policymakers, managers, the uh, members of the public think about sustainable energy futures, think about water futures, in ways that we can actually do some scenarios and imagine, you know, under climate change, under different development scenarios, different sort of energy futures, different um, water availability scenarios, what are the implications for the whole system? So I think that is one of the great things about this project is that we're actually getting researchers from all these different fields and researchers who work on integrating different fields together in the same project. So, Research is a production of New Mexico State University.